Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be playing some more Lies of P. Now this is an action adventure RPG game, much like um, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, that type of game. And it is available to download on Steam as a demo, so if you're interested in the game, trying it out will cost nothing. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 unlimited frame rate, no VC cons, so there's no frame rate camp, however, once you see how DLSS performs, so I've got that enabled this time at the quality preset. And I'm also using AMD Fidelity FX CA CAO, so this is like some kind of advanced ambient occlusion. And the graphical settings are at the highest, which is the best setting. So that is pretty much it for the in-game settings. So the game is made on Unreal Engine and um, doesn't stutter from what I've seen. It's actually really, really smooth to play. And uh, I've been enjoying it so far. They've actually given you quite a lot in the demo. So you can get a real good feel for the game. So I'm just going to try and progress through the game and, and see where it takes me. But I've really been enjoying it so far. So much so that I definitely plan on buying it later on this year when it comes out. Which should be around September time. What, what I've also been impressed about this game is not only the visuals but... Uh, just the VRAM usage as well. You don't need much, especially when you're using upscaling. I haven't seen this game exceed seven gigabytes of VRAM at any points. Even if you've got an eight gigabyte GPU, you should be fine. Okay, the Silesian Boulevard entrance. The game doesn't support any ray tracing, but it's got pretty decent screen space reflections, as you can see. I always like to watch my back. This game loves to ambush you. The AI are pretty crafty as well. They love to gang up on you, and they'll take any opportunity to do so. And they're good at blending into the background because there's so much things lying on the ground. You never know when um, one of them is actually an active machine that's going to try to attack you at any point. Okay, so we've got two of these guys over here. So I can use my Legion arm to pull one of them close to me. But eventually that runs out, you need to use like an item to restore the use of that arm. But it's good for separating enemies that are in groups. Performance though is amazing. Way over 200 FPS, even into the 300s at times. So you're probably wondering what do you get natively. So natively you're around 140, 150 with the RTX 4090. Depending on where you are, if you're inside you're more 190 FPS. Outside like this, you're generally around 140, 150. And to be able to basically almost do sub 300 FPS is insane because DLSS seems to really be effective on this game. Take out the one. Even when you block those projectiles, you still lose a bit of health. heal up it's like a dead end see there's a ladder here so there's probably going to be something waiting for me as I expected We've got these guys with projectiles as well. We really need to try to get to these guys a bit quicker. It's losing unnecessary health here.
my only criticism really of this game so far is that you know you, you have to load areas and the loading times are not that quick i am playing on pcie gen 4 nvme S ssds and they they both have read and writes between 7000 plus and 6000 reads so they're pretty fast drives but even then you can still have to look at that loading bar so i really wish they would uh be more like Elden Ring when it's everything's open. This plays a lot like Steel Legend. That came out, I think, late 2022. I could be wrong. Could have been early 2023. It plays a lot like that, especially with the the puppets and the, the mechanical enemies. You draw a lot of parallels from that. Right, my weapon is almost completely destroyed, so I need to uh, restore its durability. Because your blade gets dull and if you let it all the way down it will actually break so you don't want that to happen. Yeah, best to draw this enemy here. Then deal with the one with the projectiles. Nice. Can hear another machine nearby. So for those who don't know, the actual main character you use doesn't really have a name. I guess the name is P, but it's you're actually a machine. You're not a human being with a metal arm or anything like that. You're this thing called a puppet. So why you look so human um, is anyone's guess. I haven't found out that reason why that is yet, but from what I've learned so far, this particular design is pretty unique, so I hope we learn more about this creation at some point. Okay, let's avoid these guys. I wonder if I can drag him down from here. Ah, oh, it's too far away. There is a parrying system on this game, but I'm just not that good at it. Getting my ass kicked. Alright, let's deal with this guy. He's throwing stuff at me. I've lost a lot of health. these guys I'm gonna take out the ones that kept throwing those projectiles at me performance in this game is amazing. I don't think anyone's going to have any issues running this. And there's another one. Well, almost fell down there. I didn't even realize there was a hole. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's an enemy down there waiting for me. Yeah, let's see if I got any projectiles I can throw from here. Yeah. Oh, there's a big boss over there. Let's not 
try to fight them at the same time. Not a good idea. Yeah, my weapon was almost destroyed. I would not have been ready for that fight. I was wasting projectiles as well. Okay. What to do now? With this amount of health, I wouldn't really recommend trying to fight this thing. Maybe I can just sneak up on him and do a back attack. Yeah, I would rather... There's no other way to get out, though. Quite work out. Let's try and get out of here. Why, hello. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Okay. For your information, I didn't steal this. Okay, let's see what he's got that I can actually use. Okay, it's interesting. Electrical coil stick handle. I guess you can just equip that to your weapon and get some kind of electrical kind of status effect. What can I sell that I don't need? Nothing at the moment. What I'll need is what I want is a race point or whatever it's called, stargazer, so I can heal up and take down that that strong enemy but yeah here it is so it was a, actually a good idea to run from it are you you are finally someone is talking to me i'm jiminy your friendly puppet guide or friendly guide Puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Anyway, let's go and fight that thing. I fancy my chances now. My stamina. Pretty tough. Nice. Took it down though. See what's in his chest. Life amulet. Finally got an amulet. Let's see if it probably extends my life a little bit. So increases HP. That's all you really need to know. More HP is always good. Use the stargazer again. Get out of here. So I guess you can teleport between these. 
If I teleport to the one in the hotel. Okay, so you can... It's basically like the uh, fast travel system on this game. I want to go to the hotel though, so I can level up a little bit. I'll use my power to help you. Okay, so vitality. I think we've just got that amulet. I think we're good on that for now. Stamina for me is probably important. And weight. That technique is pretty much may help with your physical attack as well. That will do. Now you should be able to teleport using this. I'll go back to the place that it was. That seemed to be about maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds loading. Doesn't seem like much, but it's a bit annoying. I wish we didn't have to wait. Okay, so we came in this way. So the natural way to go is this way now. So what's waiting ahead of us? Take this guy out. Again, another ambush attempt. They just strategically put these puppets to where you're always going to be in a situation where you're fighting off more than one. I know there's one up here probably ready to throw some stuff at me. Yep, thought as much. He looks pretty close. I wonder if I can grab him. All right. Wait. I can sense something strange. Jeepers. Is that a butterfly? Yeah, it is a butterfly. What's the significance of that? Okay, we can't get up here. We can hear some cats. Occasionally, dimensional butterfly will appear in the parts of Pret. Monad's lamp can detect the butterfly and lights up red to point out the location. When a character is near a hiding butterfly, it will appear. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it get useful materials. So it's basically like those little kind of creatures that run away in Elden Ring. It's disappeared now. So I had a chance to get it and then a tutorial popped up and then my chance is gone. So that, that's great. Let's see what's in here. Is this the way I came in? This must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here, I want. May I ask you a favor? 
My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless, just the same. A baby must be with its mother. Please go to Quart City Hall and bring me my baby. Please go. Thank you so much, kind one. I can finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Please hurry. Hard scales spreading across my eyes before I lose my sight. Please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? Yeah. I hope everybody's safe. Wonder what she'll reward me with if I complete that mission. So you can go straight back up if you want. Oh, this is the guy that I saw earlier on in the game. I just want to make sure it's completely alone. Okay. Still as tough as before, huh? Honestly, I wasn't even ready for that. I didn't have my, my recovery stuff equipped. And that thing just came out and just smashed me. So this one's a definitely a higher level one than the one I fought earlier in the game. But I think a second crack at it, I think I'll take it down. Let's try and get back there as quickly as possible. Keep it moving. I don't want to waste any time. Come on, let me get this butterfly. Okay, I was able to kill it. Don't kill this guy. Nice. But was it this way that had to come? No, it wasn't. I think it's just down this ladder. Had waiting for me. Just about took it down. Wasn't expected to run into one of those tough guys. But I survived. Last of them. So it's a trap. How do you get past it without being electrocuted? Okay.
so much to learn on this game. I need to get back to where I was before, where I died to those, those enemies. Make sure I'm not going to get ambushed here. Let's creep up on this one, do a back attack. Oh man, it's my chance. Oh, it's one of those traps. This is the way I came in. Activate this trap and run past it. See it. There wasn't really anything around this dark alleyway. A lot of enemies, though. I was trying to get back to where I was, where I died earlier. Can't get through here yet. Maybe we need something. Maybe I came down the wrong ladder. Maybe the way forward is actually up here. No. Oh man, I lost all of my ego. That sucks, man. Thought I'd have enough space to land on the ledge. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for me. Just another look at Lies of P. And they've given you quite a lot for a demo. You definitely will find out if you want to continue playing this or not with the amount they've allowed you to access. So thanks very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.